Gracie, Eve Gracie, Chokey Gracie. Back to sleep, well, you're cool. Here at the Gracie Residence. Gracie Residence, official Gracie Garage. It's a little messy, I apologize. So, it's lived in. But it's functional. Yes, Got the mats, freezer, refrigerator, vegetables, acai. Don't make me show, open it and show you guys what's actually cracking in there. <laughs> and whenever there's a household disagreement, we just come in here on these nice green mats and we roll it out. Yeah, who do you think who usually wins that one? You guys, about six and a half months ago, we got this beautiful puppy, Choki, eight weeks old, baby, cute. Too cute. But his cuteness only got him so far. Mm -hmm. We quickly realized that Australian Shepherds, by their very nature, are super high energy. And even though I taught him a few cool party tricks, and you guys saw him on Instagram, and it was all dope, the reality is the kid was super disobedient. Come. Come, Choki. Come, Choki. Come on. Choki. Come, Choki. Come. Okay. And then try to, hey, try to have him to Chokey. sit her down. Choki, Choki, Choki. <laughs> Choki, come. Come, come. come Choki. Stay, open the door. Mm -hmm. Let me open the door. Choki. Stay. 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 Choki. <laughs> Choki, heel. Heel. Choki, heel. So we loved him, but it yeah. wasn't going to... Super tough. The word heel, the term heel, did not exist in his vocabulary. He would just kind of freestyle, just run laps, figure eights around you, and uh, it was, um, yeah, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I started to lose faith, and I was trying hard to train him these things, but I started to lose faith that it was possible. And then we were introduced to off-leash canine training. I'm gonna say the name one more time to understand the nature of the seriousness. Off Leash Canine. Just the very name of this. Nick White, the owner of Off Leash, contacted me, knew I had a dog, and said, Henner, your dog's cute, beautiful, and amazing, but let me know if you ever wanna have an obedient dog. And when he said that, he struck a chord. <laughs> so, long story short, we arranged for Nick to come out to California and spend one week here at the house. And we made it happen so that it was during the week of the Gracie Immersion Camp, where we were in Florida on the beach, having fun, getting choked, jujitsu, jet skis, blasting over there. He was here working with the dog and taking Chokey to the next level. When we returned, it was hard to fathom. One, two, three. Sit. Good. Down. And then release. Sit. Come, Chucky. Good. Good. This is major. This is a huge deal. Chucky, sit. He's passed out, otherwise he would sit over there. <laughs> you tell him to sit, the kid sits and he stays. And you can walk 50, 100, 200 feet away. And at that point you can say down, you can say come. He comes running, whatever. The whole point is he doesn't change until you break him from his original command. It's unbelievable. And one of my favorite things, the street crossing. Yes. Because that was a big concern for me when I would walk him, is that he would just run out into the street. Right. So we, we actually specifically told Nick that we want him to work on him not just running out into the street every time that street comes up. So now we stop at the street, he sits. he sits, and then we can even walk across and he will wait. He does not cross the street cross. until permitted. I know five-year-old kids who don't do that. <laughs> Here's the boy. Now I know a lot of people are concerned, and this was one of my concerns too, is that of course the trainer can train the dog, and the dog will listen to the trainer because they're professionals. 
But my biggest concern was that I would come home and even though he was perfect with Nick, that with me he wouldn't listen. And that's not the case. With two hours of working with Nick, now we really have a good understanding of how to continue his training, how to keep practicing, and he's only going to get better from this point. And yes, he does listen to me. He does heal to me. He does sit when I tell him to. It's amazing. I never thought he'd actually listen to me at all. <laughs> yes. It's so, on. But, of course, Henner needs the party tricks, right? Gross. I need the obedience. Henner needs the party tricks. Listen, what good is a Gracie who doesn't know jujitsu? <laughs> <laughs> so, so you sit. Sit. Block. Block. Take it back. Pass the guard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, what if the what if the dog is freaking huge? Pull guard. Inverted guard. Okay, okay, okay. Shrimp, 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 shrimp. <laughs> okay, okay, man. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. You guys, what the Gracies are to jujitsu. Nick and off leash canine training are to professional dog training. Thank you guys much respect. Choki! <laughs> Alright guys, I got my camera, Choki, car, way out there. Let me try to get it in uh, the range finder. 233 yards away. And uh, let's go ahead and try to set a world record. Choki, inside. Boom, there it is, 233 yards. Break. Good boy. Choki, go up the slide. Reverse. Touch. Break. Good boy. Wait, 
bad boy. Chucky, get your belt. Put it away. Good boy. Chucky showing his heel to front command. Chucky, front. Good. Break. Good. Hey guys, I'm going to show you advanced door manners with Chucky. No commands given. He just knows not to break the plane of the door when I walk out. Front door. And now I'm going to show you super advanced door manners with Chucky. Chucky. Chucky, shut the door. Shut it. And that's super advanced door manners. Oh, paper towels, paper towels, paper towels. No, not in there. Chucky, shut the door. Thank you. So Chucky wants to show you the three types of healing today. We're going to start with the front heel. Just like this. And then we transition into your normal heel. heel. And then we transition that into the escort heel. Through. And that's the three different types of healings 